The Library Object Painter allows you to select certain library objects and replace them with another object. You might use this tool to swap out cabinet hardware, cabinet doors, bar stools, or stair panels. Let's begin by using the tool to change out cabinet hardware. To change the hardware in the cabinets, I have browsed out to the library and found a new cabinet pull. To apply this onto the cabinets, I can set the scoping at the component level, which would be the cabinet face, object level, which would be the entire cabinet, the room level, which would be the entire room, or there is a floor and plan scoping available for the tool. Using the tool with component mode set, I'll apply the hardware on the upper portion of the wall cabinet to swap out that hardware. As I change the scoping to the object level and then apply the hardware to the opposite wall cabinet, it swaps out the hardware for that entire cabinet box. When I change the scoping to the room mode and click on the cabinet, it will replace all like hardware in the entire room. As I scroll down in the library and find a cabinet door, I can repeat this process by selecting the door and spraying it on the base cabinet. And it will swap out all like slab style doors and drawers in the entire room. Remember as you use this tool to set the scoping for your intended use. It can be a powerful way to quickly swap out styles and options for your designs. Here's the same process to swap out the bar stools. It's a good way to visualize the change in design by using this Replace from Library tool to quickly visualize the design change. To toggle from the Replace from Library mode, you can use this toggle that will allow you to place the individual library object instead of replacing the existing stools. Typically that will be the default mode when you click on a furniture style item. In this final example, you can swap out balusters or stair panels. From the library, I'll select a stair panel, move over to the stair, make sure your cursor changes to the replace style cursor, and then click to apply that design change. That wraps up this video on the Library Object Painter. To learn more, please see the built in help file and our other videos. Thanks for watching.